Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports and Boxing. You find a way to win or you find a way to lose. And let me tell you this. Nick Ball will destroy Stephen Fulton. Yeah, you heard it right here from Hood Champion. Stephen Fulton doesn't stand a chance against this English pit bull. Why in the world would they even be considering fighting Nick Ball in a fight that Stephen Fulton cannot, won't, what Puff Daddy say, can't stop, won't stop? Well, how about this? Stephen Fulton cannot and will not beat Nick Ball. Let me tell you, th this is what y'all got to understand, man. When you take a look at, where is this thing? Let me show you something here, man. This, this little guy is a problem. Let me make this a little bit larger for you. So when you look at this fella here, Nick Ball, looked pretty simple, right? 21 wins, 12 KOs. This guy stands at 5'2". Not sure what his reach is, but it can't be that long. But none of that matters. Because when Nick Ball gets in the ring, being that English pit bull that he is, it doesn't matter a person's height. It doesn't matter their reach. Nothing matters. Because Nick Ball finds a way to win. Now, I will say, when he fought Ray Ford, they did him wrong. But the thing is, Ray Ford and Stephen Fulton are not the same fighters. Stephen Fulton doesn't have the kind of power to, to, to keep Nick Ball off of him and to keep him honest. Raymond Ford did, and Raymond Ford had pinpoint accuracy. Uh, Nick Ball was giving Ray Ford the business, but Ray Ford won mo most of those rounds. Uh, I think they did Ray Ford wrong out there in Saudi, but the whole world saw it and the whole world agreed. Nevertheless, a lot of people saw Nick Ball fight Ray Vargas, where Nick Ball beat Ray Vargas and they robbed Nick Ball. So it is what it is. You know, Saudi Arabia, glad those guys are involved in boxing. But if you want to keep your O, don't go fight out there because they'll rob your ass. Now, when you take a look at the WBA um, and their rankings, I'm pulling this up to show y'all something right here. Y'all got to understand with this guy, Nick Ball, man, the position he's in, okay? So he's the WBA world champion, man, in the featherweight division. Look here, Stephen Fulton is ranked number one. Then Bruce Carrington. Now, you know what's so interesting about this is right here. I'm going to pull up something else to show you something. Now, look, Fulton's ranked number one. Bruce Carrington's ranked number two by the WBA. And I'm going to tell you, I, I don't understand what happened here, but we're going to talk about it. Now, if you look, this is uh, the, um, the featherweight division here. You see Nick Ball, right? But as of August 31st, Bruce Carrington was ranked number one. Then then it was uh, Fulton and then Neary, right? So I don't know why Bruce Carrington dropped down to number two, but it was Carrington, Fulton, and Neary. Now when you take a look at the WBA ranking, it's, um, where's my damn cursor? Hold on a second. Lost my damn, here it is. It's Fulton, Carrion, and Quayle. So... I don't know what happened to the other guys, man, but any other guy. But anyway, I don't think Fulton has done anything to earn him the right to bubble up a, a, above Bruce Carrington to be in line to fight Nick Ball. So this is why I tell you, man, it's a little bit of the secret society being in full effect because Fulton has done nothing. He got his ass whipped by, um, anyway, and returned uh, to make his debut at featherweight, and he got dropped. And in my opinion, he um, in a fight that some people felt he lost. But to think he's going to go up against Nick Ball and be able to to, to, to get a win, I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. I, I like Fulton. I like his story. I think Fulton's an amazing fighter. Okay, he's got speed. He's got IQ. He's got great footwork. Um, ring generalship, he, he has a lot of the things that you want in a fighter. The one thing he doesn't have is power. And the one thing a fighter needs to keep that English goddamn pit bull off him, Nick Ball, you need to have some power. And as a result, I just think Stephen Fulton is going to get sliced through like a hot knife and butter. And I think it's going to be worse than what Inouye did to him. Because Nick Ball is just going to be on him and he's more of a boxer brawler, pressure fighter. Anyway, he's a boxer. But Nick Ball is just going to beat him down. Um, and you're going to see, I think, um, 
Fulton. He will either get knocked out cold or he will just, his corner will throw the towel and he'll be on the ropes just getting beat down. And you may say, well, damn, the way anyway knocked him out, that was violent, Hood. Yeah, but but he didn't beat beat him up. You know what I'm saying? Nick Ball is going to beat up Stephen Fulton. But let's see if he takes the fight. First of all, he may not take the fight. But when you have an opportunity to fight for another title, um, you know, you be, you know, some people decide to go for the goal. But he went out there to, to Japan, made a few million, so he changed his family's life. He's out here fighting. Maybe if he goes and fights Nick, Nick Ball in Saudi Arabia, he may say, you know what? If I keep nickel and diamond over here fighting nobodies, making 500000 here, 700000 here, and I get a chance to go fight for $6 million against Nick Ball in Saudi, he may just go out there and risk, you know, getting his ass kicked again. But at least you're going to get paid for it. And you got to commend him for it because I'm telling you right now, stylistically, this is a horrible uh, matchup. This ain't nothing but Ricardo Mayorga versus Vernon Forrest. That's all this is. Ricardo Mayorga versus Vernon Forrest. One and two. It just I just don't think it ends well. Even if they fight and... The thing is, Nick Ball's a champion. I was like, if they rematch. But it's, it's just all bad. Too many punches. The footwork in your, in, you know, in your chest. You know, Nick Ball is already a short guy. Fulton's like 5'7". He's already getting under shots just from being 5'2". He bends his knees. He becomes like 4'6". It's just hard to fight that little guy, man. And he's mean as shit. He's, he's in and he's on you. Anyway, man, you know, good good luck to Fulton. Good luck to his team and trying to uh, devise a proper game plan uh, if they choose to go up against this guy, Nick Ball. But I'm telling you, Nick Ball, Nick Ball fighting guys out here that are six feet tall. Fight. Nick Ball fighting guys from his height all the way up to 6'2 and, and beating their asses. The only one he did, he, he gave him a tough fight, but he didn't beat him. I think he lost, Ray Ford. I think Nick Ball lost that fight. Ray Ford had a pinpoint accuracy, and he was, I think, the perfect, he had the perfect game plan, perfect IQ, perfect skill set. He was the perfect height. It's just like, well, goddamn, what's that shit? Goldilocks. And she ended up in the mama, papa bear house and shit. Oh, this porridge is too hot. This one's too cold. But this one is perfect, right? I think when you get fighters, you get one. Oh, this one's too tall. This one's too short. But then you get Ray Ford, and Ray Ford is just the perfect fighter for uh to to get in there and and make it for a bad night against Nick Ball. I just don't think Stephen Fulton is, is that guy. If he had power, maybe. But I even worry about, wonder about Fulton's chin. And Nick Ball's gonna touch him. Anyway, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. Um, and the other thing, maybe Fulton doesn't want to leave outside the states anymore. He went to Japan. Who knows what happened just trying to acclimate the time change. Who knows? You know, all that stuff, all that stuff matters. You know what I mean? For him to, if they make the fight, I would think it would be in Saudi. A, a big Riyadh season card could happen in December. But if he goes out there, you know, maybe he's like, yeah, I don't want to deal with that BS no more. Maybe it, something that he's like, you're not really affecting my performance. Um, but anyway, just had to wait and see. Keep cool. I like Nick Ball. Um, I just don't think nobody really messing with that little that little guy if they can't get his respect. Because if not, Nick Nick Ball is going to just. There's a reason he was made five foot two, because if Nick Ball was six foot four, two hundred fifty pounds, no kidding, that man would be undis undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. He ain't nothing but a little goddamn pocket Mike Tyson, and 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 he he's a problem. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.